guys, uh, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about various Pellas water treatment systems. So first thing is we should know what, uh, what why do we need Pellas water treatment system. So we have seen in the previous video regarding Pellas water convention that we need to have a D2 criteria of organism. So Pellas water treatment system should be there and it should be approved by IMO and it should comply with the discharge criteria of the D2 system. So what is the discharge criteria of D2 system that the, it should be able to filter microorganisms less than 10 organisms per meter cube should be there in your Bellas water. And these are for organisms which are more than 50 micrometers. And uh, we should have less than 10 microorganisms per ml for organisms which are between 10 and 50 microns. So if organism size is very small, we need to have not more than 10 organisms per ml and if organism size is more than 50 micrometers then we need we can have at a maximum 10 organisms per meter cube of our bellas water so to have such a high filtration we have uh, and there also a requirement for uh, the microbes that is colony forming unit microbes so the, there are toxigenic vibro cholera, they can be maximum one unit per 100 ml of Bellas water. Then um, Escherichia coli, 250 CFU per 100 ml and intestinal intercoag, 100 CFU per 100 ml. So let's see what are the different types of Bellas water treatment system. So first we see a general Bellas water treatment system. So in a general Bellas water treatment system, like we had previously, we were in taking intake from the sea and from through the Bellas pump and we were putting into the tank. And while discharging, we take the discharge from the Bellas pump and we put overboard. Now in between the pump and the tank, we need to treat the Bellas. So we have a Bellas water treatment system. So in this, Either we have a physical treatment or a chemical treatment. So these different treatments we will see. And while discharging, again it goes through the Bellas pump and the Bellas is retreated and neutralized and then only discharged overboard. So in this way, organisms are controlled. So we take the Bellas, treat it and put into the tank. And while discharging also through the pump, we retreat it and discharge overboard. That is the basic what is Bellas water treatment system. Now, Bellas water, what happens here? First, we need to have a much better filter. So first, the Bellas water is passed through a filter for physical treatment. So that is your physical treatment part to remove the organisms or size, which are 550 microns and above. So whichever or this physical treatment filter is very fine filter and it filters all the microns with uh, organisms which are above 50 microns. Then there are different systems. Some systems use cavitation devices such as physical treatment. Then after that, the Bellas water is sterilized to kill the microbes. You can have by chemical treatment using some chemicals like biocides or oxidizing agents and uh, treated water is filled in Bellas tanks. Method used for uh, chemical treatment or other methods are ultraviolet rays in water reducing the oxygen content in water, deoxidizing agents, adding some active substances such as ozone and using its sterilizing ability, sterilizing water by using chemicals. Subsequently, the water is discharged overboard, but for a system in which retreatment or neutralization is necessary, the water is discharged overboard after retreatment. So different treatments, you might need retreatment or not. So there are mainly four different types of Bellas water treatment system. One is treating with ultraviolet rays, UV treatment method. Then we have gas treatment methods. We have like nitrogen or some other gases. Then electrolysis method and magnetic separation method. So let's see one by one in simple block diagram. These are the simple diagrams which you can make in your exams also. So UV treatment method. Basic thing is same. Only the Bellas water treatment system is changed. You have UV here and you have a filter here. So Bellas water is taken through the Bellas water Bellas pump and filled, first it is filtered and then treated with UV rays and put in the tank. 
So in this system, already all microns, microorganisms are killed. So we don't need to do retreatment. And if we are doing retreatment, we just pass it through UV rays again, and then goes to overboard discharge. So this is uh, the explanation that large aquatic organisms are removed from the filter and then from the titanium oxide and UV rays, the other organisms and fungi are sterilized. So titanium oxide and your ultraviolet rays, they have this disinfection property, strong disinfection property when they are pass through this pellas water and they kill all the microorganisms and fungi. So if you are using chemicals, then you don't need retreatment because uh, chemical remains in the water. If you are doing with ultraviolet or this titanium oxide, then you need retreatment as we saw. Then we have next is gas treatment method. So in gas treatment method, when you, uh, you, you just blow the inert gas or nitrogen, into the system or well as pump and main advantage is that with less uh, oxygen we have less corrosion also in the tanks and organisms are treated so if our, uh, we take the bellas from seawater by pump and then blow the gas and fill the water in the tank and then while discharging it comes out the water quantity is adjusted and then discharged overboard so no need to retreat. So the procedure is that uh, we are uh, blowing the inert gas through a venturi tube and oxygen concentration is reduced. This uh, inert gas used is uh, very low oxygen content, almost zero. And uh, we can also use ozone instead of that. But if you are using your ozone, same like ultraviolet system, we need to use a retreatment method then next is our electrolysis method where uh, so in this system again we are taking ballast from the ballast pump and first we are doing filtration after filtration we are doing cavitation which is uh, killing the cell walls or cell membranes of the organisms and then there is an electrolysis process in which uh, because of this system in the seawater there are some ions generated which kill your microorganisms. So we have uh, also nitrogen gas and some hydroxyl ions which are generated and these are killing the microorganisms. So this that's why it is called electrolysis process because the ions are generated through the electrolysis process by passing electric current. So this uh, treated water is filled in the tanks and then while discharging we again take it through the pump and then again we it has to be retreated because it's not a chemical process but in retreatment time we just do cavitation so there are no uh, microorganisms or active substances which are coming into the ships from outside then uh, last is your magnetic separation method so in this system we are taking the last water through pump and then in the treatment system, we are uh, removing the microbes and microorganisms by pulling the microbes and microorganisms with magnetic properties of a magnetic powder and then they are filtered. So the ballast water is coming here and in this chamber we are putting some magnetic powder and then the water is agitated and mixed thoroughly with the powder and then it goes to the next chamber where the magnetic separation takes place because of uh, the magnetic attraction and then leftover water is uh, again filtered and all microorganisms aquatic organisms and microbes are removed here and then the water is filled into the tank while discharging we don't need to do any treatment all the microbes are already removed no chemicals or any sterilization is required now one main point to consider in this uh, ballast water treatment is filtration so we need very fine filters and 
this uh, filters where all the microbes are collected we need to dispose them and these are very specialized and very costly filters and uh, the advantage is that the organisms they retain their original habitat but uh, it uh, needs time to time maintenance and uh, removing the microbes and uh, organisms from the filter so that is one important point here oxidizing we agent. should also know that different uh, chemicals, chemicals that destroy are cell membrane through oxidization like we have a molecule that is electron deficient like removes an electron from another molecule in this reaction the process of rusting that is an oxidation reaction oxidizing agents that are chemicals that destroy the cell non oxidizing biocide oxidation biocides can also be lethal through various other chemical means so these oxidizing agents uh, they damage the cell walls of the microorganisms with because of its chemical properties then we have some non oxidizing agents uh, biocides also to kill the organisms and then we have ozone we know it has a disinfecting properties very harmful and very dangerous also So guys that is all about uh, different uh, types of ballast water systems in further videos we will see each method in detail practically the different systems how they work but the comprehensive way of treating the different ballast waters are these so keep tuned and